Hi guys. So this week we are continuing our series on looking at how amateurs can improve in their thought process and execution, uh, not necessarily thinking about technique. So we did a bit of putting last week and this week I'm going to focus and bring that same idea we had from the putting and bring it into your chipping. So you can see I've set up a draw here behind me and really what I want to focus on here is can I execute a 1 meter chip, 2 meters, 3 meters, 4 meters, 5 meters. So I'm talking about carry distance. Can I control my carry distance, those specific distances. Once you have an idea of doing that, obviously you can take it to the course and work your shot out accordingly. I'd also like you to maybe have a sort of higher, softer pitch shot and maybe even a chip and run and again set them up and learn to execute them the same way where you just focused on your carry distance and can I control that carry distance. Okay, so I had it set up there with the fringe at one meter, club two, three, four, and five meters, and trying to land it as close to those distances as possible with that sort of normal little chip shot. Once you have an idea of what you can do, um, add, like I say, a pitch shot, and then maybe a chip and run. That'll give you a good idea when you're lying on the course of if something is downhill to carry it less, if it's uphill to carry it more, or if you have to carry it over the fringe or over the bunker each time you have a plan and you have an idea of how far it is to carry. It's not only going to improve your execution, it's going to long term improve your judgment of shots and your selection of shots accordingly. Try and get that different sort of mindset, think about it and really improve that judgment and sharpness of your short game.